But that's a really interesting question because I get laser focused on this issue and I've been laser focused on this issue for almost 15 years now of trying to find a way from my, well I have my prosecutor's hat on, to help get this project started and bring it to completion. Um, but that's an interesting question from a fatherly perspective. So what I would say to that is we all have a stake in this. Even if you're never going to go inside the sheriff's office to get a concealed carry permit or a background check, even if you're hopefully never going in there to actually be an inmate in the jail, we all still have a stake in this because the jail is the nerve center of criminal justice in Coshocton County. And obviously the um, main goal of, from a criminal justice standpoint is to, as I've said, reduce recidivism, reduce repeat offenders. And if we do that successfully, and we're never going to do that completely, there's always going to be crime. There's been crime since we started writing down laws however many thousands of years ago, there's been people that are going to break them. That's not gonna change. What we have to do is try to minimize that as much as we can. So in minimizing it, what we have to do is put into place a nerve center in Coshocton County that is going to be able to be effective. And by having that there, that hopefully then will reduce repeat offenders, which makes the street safer for my child and your children, and hopefully in the future our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, to walk. And not only that, that's also going to give the community as a whole, the county as a whole, a selling point. When people want to bring businesses in here, when people want to relocate here to live and raise their kids, they want a safe community. By passing this levy and, and approving this sales tax, that's what the voters are doing. They're helping Coshocton become a safer place. They're helping Coshocton become a safer place for their neighbors, for their family, and for the future.